G'day Grooners, here I am at Packwood House in England, Warwickshire to be exactly. Um, yeah, today has been part of the uh, McDee challenge from uh, Longbridge, Birmingham to Stratford-upon-Avon. So I've stopped here to um, just show you a nice English country house, but also as part of the little mini vlog that uh, I'll show you the kit around my bike and gear and thank you all so much for the uh, comments on the uh, previous post in terms of uh, the camera that I've got on there the, the new uh, tripod tripod uh, clamp to go on the handlebars and it's quite fascinating seeing the feedback from you guys and uh, I think it was Mark Hatton left a comment in the previous I'll go and have a look and um, that man ran Chicago and then he's he said he's been doing about 60% of his training has been on uh, bikes and uh, it looks a bit of a cyclist. Anyway, he ran Tokyo, and I think, if my memory serving right, memory not too, it was around 20 minutes quicker, 20 minutes quicker off his time from Chicago to Tokyo. That's quite remarkable. So it just goes to show that cross training really does help. And uh, so I'll be doing a bit more on this. Obviously, I'm doing this as part of my rehab, and uh, and I think I have discovered a new uh, a new mojo. So uh, without further ado, let me show you the bike and kit that I've got on here, sort of setup that I have. I say it's about, I've done about uh, 30k so far. So I think in total it'll be about 50 kilometers. Um, so I've had my breakfast and then I'll be having lunch or late lunch when I get to uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. So let me show you the kit and the setup that I've got on here. Okay, let's go. So the setup kit, as you can see, I mean, I've had this about 12 years, this bike. It's a Kona, Kona Blast. Yeah, so it's all over. It's fully branded saying Kona, Kona. For those of you who know your world geography, Kona is in Hawaii. And, uh, and as it says here, this is a Kona Mountain Aluminium butted. So uh, it's an aluminium bike and it's quite, oh, I do love it. I know, Sarah, you've said that uh, you've got a mountain bike tucked away and it comes out twice a year. I'm going to be getting this out a bit more now. So that's the uh, bike. I can't remember the size of the wheels or whatever, but to me, I just bought it off the internet uh, 12, 13 years ago. It was a good deal. I think it was uh, half price at the time, so they're just getting rid of them for my size. And uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at what we've got on here. So in terms of the bike itself, it's standard setup on the handlebars. Here's the new, ooh, as a uh, wasp goes flying by, here's the new um, clamp that I've got. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a proper GoPro, yeah, as it says here. And uh, I mean, I've got my mount there to uh, put this camera that you're looking at goes into there. And here's where I fitted my uh, Garmin, rather than have it on my wrist, because it does uh, bounce about, and you might see that there's some marks on my wrist there. This is a little... Uh, strap I've bought. I think you can get a proper Garmin one but I just got this off uh, eBay for a couple of pounds, a couple of bucks and uh, nice strap as you can see it's, it's off pause this and it's my standard Garmin for measuring the uh, cycle route. So in terms of measuring the heart rate, yeah the heart rate is with uh, this little baby here. So I've got the heart rate monitor on my chest strap here and uh, in addition to that I've got a handlebar mount handlebar, <laughs> handlebar, a uh, crossbar bag and inside I've got the uh, puncture repair kit, a little gel, it's a puncture repair kit, yeah, keys, a little gel, always have a gel just in case of emergencies if I get stranded somewhere and I need uh, a quick pop of uh, emergency energy and then in the back here I've got a, um, a bag that uh, fits neatly under the uh, bar here. Saddle bag, I think you might call this. And inside I've got a spare inner tube and uh, the uh, bike, um, the uh, wheel clamps that I can take off the tires to do the uh, full repair. So I've fitted on here a little bit of a mud flap here and here to uh, keep off the mud and uh, rain. Now you might notice I've not got a bottle here I'm not really one for uh, drinking uh, much. Maybe uh, with a hot sunny day, I should have brought one. Here's my little pump attached here. Cute little thing. So uh, obviously, just in case I need to do some uh, emergency pumps, that's what I go on there. And uh, for me, with this particular bike, it's disc brakes, disc brakes all the way. And as I say, this was back 
this was back 12 years ago that uh, I got this so uh, disc brakes have been around a while on these uh, mountain bikes and to finish off my lock yeah it might be a bit excessive but it's the only lock I've got um, unfortunately the world we live in where I'm parking my uh, bikes I've got to cut out the opportunists who might want to uh, cycle off with it because um, it's a fair piece of uh, kit and uh, so I'll keep that locked up so that's my gear hopefully you like it thumbs up and uh, and I'll be publishing the full bike ride of my McD challenge um, over the weekend and, uh, and you'll get to see the full bike ride so that was just a quick little ditty on my kit gear that I have yeah on the bike thumbs up like subscribe love you guys so thank you so much for the uh, comments and hopefully hopefully fingers crossed as some of you commented it was good news at the uh, physio I'm now doing impact training um, to get the uh, feet legs going ready for a run and hopefully over the next few days I'll actually go out and try uh, a little mini run just 10 minutes 20 minutes so yes I know Suzanne you did say not more than 40 minutes I think it'll be less than that but it'll be a combination of run walk run walk and see how that feels and I'll keep you updated on how that's progressing so thank you all so much for watching this love you all love the comments keep them coming down below and let me know what kind of bike setups uh, you have and what you do and try maybe you might be more of a road roadie out on the road bikes and enjoying that or um, <laughs> you might be an off-roader and uh, enjoy the canal towpaths or mountains hills anyway let's crack on I'm getting quite warm here so I need to uh, speed up a bit <laughs> ladies guys peace out in an English country garden <laughs>